We get a question a lot at Phytech on which throttle body EFI system is right for your application. The selection is actually pretty simple. Even though we have all of these throttle bodies, even more actually, that you have to choose from. The first thing that I always want to bring up with one of the throttle body EFI systems is all that horsepower ratings that we put on everything is the max horsepower support for each EFI system. They will support way lower. For example, the 400 horsepower system people are using on Volkswagen engines. So it's down to like 50 horsepower. When you go up to the bigger systems up to 1200 horsepower, there is a lower limit but we do have applications where we have put the 1200 horsepower system on a stock Chevy 350 just for testing purposes and they work fine. Now, you wouldn't traditionally do something like that, but it is more forgiving than what you would expect it to be. Now, what is right for your application? The first thing that I would say is, what do you think the horsepower number of your vehicle is? Usually speaking, if it's a stock vehicle, you're not gonna be over 400 horsepower. So the 400 horsepower uh, Go Street EFI system is gonna be the one for you. If you're expecting that you're gonna be doing something a little bit more and make a little more horsepower in the future, you would go up to the Easy Street 600 horsepower system. The Easy Street 600 is actually this one here. The 400 horsepower one is over here. But the big difference between the two is really just the injector size. So this one will support a little bit more horsepower. If you got a 383 and you're just trying to keep things simple, probably the easy street. If you got a big block with just a cam and some long tube headers or something like that, I would also recommend the easy street system. Now, if you're looking to dive in a little bit deeper into the EFI systems, the next kits up are the Go EFI 4 600 horsepower kits. Uh, the big feature with one of these systems is it has ignition control capability. What that means is the use of a two-wire distributor, you can plug it directly into the EFI system, and you can build your own digital ignition curve through it. Is it required? Not at all. You could run the system as a standard tack in, but that's just another level of tuning capability that you have with a system. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper and build your own ignition curve within one of the EFI systems, the timing control is an added benefit. Now, if you have a big cam in your motor, I would generally recommend start considering doing the timing control setups because there's a lot of programming in there that allows for stabilizing idle. The system could add or remove timing to do that. So there is some advantages when you have more radical motor setups. Now, the next kit up that we have that isn't actually shown here is our Mean Street 800 horsepower kit. That one does not have that timing control capability, but it has custom calibrations in it to accept larger camshaft setups. The system doesn't have timing control mainly because we were trying to make it cost effective and we figured anyone using that 800 horsepower system was going to have a pretty healthy big block Chevy and they're already going to have their ignition system set up anyways to the way that they want it. So there's no reason to double charge for something. Now if you do want that higher horsepower and that tuning capability of timing control, then we go into our power adder systems. The power adder systems like this one, the Go EFI 8 1200, we also have a 600 horsepower version. These systems will accept boost up to about 21 and a half pounds of boost. And then it also has a full nitrous control circuit in it to engage and disengage a single stage of wet flow nitrous. The cool things with these systems is it has the timing control and with all that ad additional features, we also give you pro tuning software with this system, which allows you to download the software onto your computer and tune the system through a laptop or a desktop computer, whatever you choose. Now with the system, boost capabilities, you can do blow through, you could also do draw through. And with that said on the draw through, we also offer our dual quad setups. We have two versions of the dual quad setups. We have our 625 horsepower version, and then we have our 1200 horsepower version. That 625 horsepower one is only naturally aspirated. It goes um, generally on someone that's trying to make a cool look on a car. Um, I got a lot of people doing these on uh, 32 Roadsters, trying to do dual quads, a lot of um, 
Ford applications too, where they're just trying to do the dual quad look, but they got a pretty mild small block 302 or something. These systems work perfectly fine on there. Now on the higher horsepower application, 1200 horsepower system, you can do draw through or blow through on it, but we generally see people doing a draw through setup on top of a 6871 supercharger, something like that. And the cool thing with the, the setups are, is we're injecting fuel across the entire intake plenum. So it makes fuel distribution on those motors really good. Um, <clears throat> along with that, they're tied one to one. Uh, the linkage doesn't come with the kit, but the way that we want this set up is the one to one throttle because we're injecting fuel the entire time. It just allows for that better fuel atomization. And then they're also available in this uh, tumble polish finished as well as the black finish on both that 625 and 1200 horsepower system. So that's pretty much all the throttle body EFI systems that we have. We don't have the classic or the classic black out here, but the classic and the classic black are effectively the same type of injection where it's throttle body injection. It's just a remote mount ECU. And those ones will support up to 650 horsepower. Those are a good application if you're trying to get something that looks even more carbureted looking. These ones have the injectors off to the side, whereas the classics are front and back and gives a more traditional carbureted look. So that's a breakdown of all the EFI systems. I hope that really explains what each system does and how to select for each one. I really expect most people to, with setups like this, to kind of keep it simple and do the TAC input ones, but doing timing control is pretty fun. But at that point, you could also consider doing a port injection system as well, which we have a huge selection of port EFI now. Now, if you have any questions on which throttle body EFI system is right for you and I didn't answer one of your questions, please comment them down below and we'll be sure to answer them for you.